Hey guys, it's time for my annual Tucson Gym Show haul video where I show you guys what I got every year I do this and I want to show you guys all the cool cool stuff that I got this year and I got a lot of stuff let me tell you guys um, this year I'm doing it a little bit different than other years you know I I'm buying also uh, more home decor stuff more jewelry as well I didn't usually do that uh, in the previous years but now this year I'm gonna, I'm gonna change, change it up a little bit you know and uh, most of the stuff is going to be for sale in my Etsy shop, so that'd be cool to look forward to. But I want to show you guys all the stuff now. So without further ado, let's go ahead and check it out. Okay, guys. So let's go ahead and start with with this area, this section right here, and uh, really cool stuff to show you guys. So, yeah, let me start with this one right here. This is one of the first purchases I made when I uh, went got got to Tucson. Um, this stuff is called flower amethyst. It's amethyst, but grown in like a stalactite flower formation and um, it's usually grown over over a bed of, of chalcedony and the reason why this was so unique and why I got a lot is first of all I love this lilac color of amethyst this is not your, your traditional amethyst you know not your tr traditional clusters you know this is this is a uh, very unique stuff and um, they had a table of it and I just went there like I I beelined it for the table and I picked up the best pieces <laughs> and it's so funny because people don't think much of it because it's raw people go to the amethyst you know the clusters and the citrines the moment I was there people saw me really like looking into the stuff more people showed up and was trying to uh, get some cool stuff too so that was kind of funny that kind of effect um, that happened but uh, so this stuff is from Brazil and it's fl it's flower amethyst grown over uh, Chalcedony. You can see a really good, this example right here, this is probably one of my best pieces. You see that bed of amethyst, right? And then it's like a flower and then all, all around here is, is Chalcedony. Amazing stuff. Gorgeous. Um, and the, the reason why I got this, again, I like the color, but also the mine that this comes from is, is close. That's the last of the lot. So usually what happens with these minerals is when the mine shuts down after they, uh, you know, mine everything out, It'll be a couple of years before they find a new they find a new source of, of the stuff, and it's not going to be the same. It'll be a slightly different variation, you know. Uh, this mine is unique. To, the characteristics of, of these crystals are, are unique to this mine, and um, so it's going to be a while before they find more stuff. And this stuff is so cool. I mean, and and the energy is so strong. You know, it's like amethyst, but a little bit calming too, because uh, of the calcium. Look, look at that flower growth. It's so cool. Um, lilac, lilac colored amethyst. Beautiful, beautiful lilac colored amethyst. You can see the amethyst right here, and then on, on the other part of this cluster is the calcedony. It's really a cool little contrast there. So, over here I have uh, uh, two chunks of uh, Congo citrine, actually from the Congo. Uh, I got so much citrine this year, and I really, I'm really excited to show you guys this stuff. You know, I, I spoke of Congo citrine before, and natural citrine. Um, there's citrine in Madagascar that looks the same. It's got this candle formation, pineapple quartz, candle quartz, whatever you call it. They're from Madagascar. Um, this stuff actually from the Congo, and I confirmed it with uh, the reputable, reputable vendor. Um, look at this. Beautiful. Natural natural color, natural uh, smoky citrine. Uh, beautiful cluster. These are, big, these are big clusters, by the way. Cool stuff, huh? And then over here... Uh, now this is cool. Now let, let me take my camera off the tripod for this. Over here we have amethyst and uh, druzy uh, uh, quartzes on metal iron stands that are permanently kind of uh, drilled in there. Let me show you guys this. So you take one of these, like take this one right here. You see that? You see that? That's awesome. And it's a permanent iron stand for this beautiful, beautiful piece of, of amethyst right here. And um, I got you know, the small ones, and I got a big one in the back here. Oh, gorgeous, gorgeous. And these are uh, Druzy Quartz uh, with amethyst. Like this one has, this one has a light purple, purpley amethyst right here. And they're all the same. They have permanent stands, so nice. Um, I, I, when I saw these, I was like, all right, I gotta get, I gotta get some of this stuff because, you know, you don't really find this stuff. And uh, it's really nice, it's nice way to, to display this stuff without having a stand, because now you have a permanent stand. So, really cool stuff. Moving on here, we have a tray of some Capricorns and some Sardonics. I want to talk about the Capricorns first. I handpicked these uh, Capricorns, and uh, this is Labradorite. Just look at the quality of this stuff. I mean, 
Holy crap, the flash. See that? Labradorite, the higher the flash, the more flash it is, the higher the quality. This flash is all the way through, front and back. Look at the back. You just have to hold it at the light, at the right angle, you know? Beautiful, gorgeous stuff. Uh, check this one out, the teardrop shape, uh, teardrop shape one. See that? And then back as well. It's very nice, very nice Capcons. Um, I love getting these Capcons because I know people want them and also they're just so stunning. Uh, they're just so great and they're great for energy, for, you know, like uh, having in your pocket, right? They're not going to poke your uh, po uh, pants or, you know, your legs because they're, they're polished. They're Capricorns. They're cut and polished. So, and they're great, powerful energy because of how high quality they are. The Labradorites. I also got some um, uh, <clears throat> Aquamarines again. Sorry, the, the reflection of my light <clears throat> is picking up on the Capricorns because it's polished. But uh, look at that teardrop shape. Gorgeous Aquamarine. Aquamarine is great for understanding hypothalamus, etc. Um, more Capricorns, oval. These are oval shaped ones. You know, uh, just a couple of stuff. You know, I got this stuff last year at Denver, I believe. And, uh, and you know, the, people got them right away. And then I had people asking me if I had any more. I was like, no, you know, I'm sorry. I just had a couple. And so I got more this year if you guys want them. I always just handpick the best ones. They have a whole tray of them. And I go through it. I sit there and I take all day to uh, pick the best ones. <laughs> so it's just what I like to do. You know, I, I don't like to settle for anything uh, that's not really that, that great. This is a big old Malachite, you know, front and back. Awesome. And over here, now here's something interesting that I haven't had re much of. Sardonyx. Now what is Sardonyx? Sardonyx is a mixture of Carnelian and Black Onyx. Um, it comes from Madagascar and these are cut and polished uh, free form, like big giant palm stones. These are top quality, guys. You won't find this kind of quality in too many places, especially not stone shops. They don't carry high quality stuff because stone shops are, you know, they, it's too like expensive for them. They, their price points and et cetera, what they're looking for, they, they, they don't want to get, you know, stuff like this and sit on it. So like, you see the bands? I mean, it's just gorgeous. Like, this is this is top top quality um, sardonyx here, and the energy is like carnelian and black onyx. So you have passion, it's flowing, and uh, you have the strength of black onyx. You have the fortitude, the the aggression with with the passion. It's really great stone, underrated, so underrated this this stone because it's an agate, but it's a it's just gorgeous. I mean, magnificent. Oh, that light's you know reflecting pretty harsh. It's magnificent, and these are the biggest pieces that I've got. I got a whole tray of small pieces. That I can't show you guys. It's right over there um, later on in this video. But yeah, this is cool. This is cool. Uh, and also an another chunk of Congo citrine. People love the natural Cong Congo citrine, and so do I. So I got a lot of this stuff this year. Uh, these three are the biggest chunks. Uh, these, you know, this is a big cluster. The points and and the, and the candle formations, you know, <clears throat> gorgeous stuff. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Okay, m moving on to the tray below that. Now here is a really really cool tray of quartz crystals that I've been looking. I've honestly been looking to get this stuff for so so long, because uh, it's so rare and unique and beautiful, and I just couldn't find it anywhere. And this year I found it, and this is Colombian quartz. Colombian quartz is known for their like needle-like formations. I mean like like straight up like 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 needles. Look at that. It's like a like a starburst. Like you know like it's just so so stunning. It th this um Colombian quartz is something else. It's really strong too. I haven't had much of this stuff in in the prior years, but now that I have found a, a reputable vendor surprisingly, I mean during covid year, holy crap. Um I got, you know, I got a tray of it. Look at this stuff. Isn't that gorgeous? You see that like it's like it's like needle cluster. It's like needle points. They're small, they're long, they're thin. Like it's just something else. I mean, like these the, these these clusters are magnificent and they're very delicate. So when you touch them, you gotta be careful. You pick them up from the base like this. You don't grab the points. You know, if you do that, you'll be fine. But look at that. I mean, wow. It's like a forest of like needle points, needle quartz. Gorgeous, gorgeous, absolutely stunning. Um, and and points too. Let me show you guys their points. 
Look at that point. If this point, um, if this tip wasn't like a little bit dinged up, this would be a museum quality piece. This would be thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars guaranteed because uh, of the clarity, the formation, the striation. It's all about the, you know, if the tip isn't uh, a dinged up or if it doesn't have too much of, of this growth. Now, I like this this growth. This Okay, so how, how is this form? Well, when the quartz crystal is forming in the pocket, you know, it's going shooting straight that way, um, minerals fall on top of the crystal, like little pieces of sand and other minerals. That then grows into other, other uh, quartz clusters. That's how this stuff forms. But uh, it's beautiful. I mean, look, look at this point. So, you know, down here, it's so perfectly formed, even all the way down, so long and uh, uh, clear, even clear down here, you know? And um, all the way to the tip, I mean, beautiful. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. I mean, Colombian Quartz is by far some of the most stunning stuff I have ever seen. And it's hard as heck to, to get your hands on. I tell you, it really is. It's not it's not cheap either, but uh, my opinion, it's worth it. I mean, look at this. Now, this cluster, I really like this piece right here. This little starburst, cloudburst action you got going on right here. You know, this is just... Ugh. This is just something else. So, yeah, guys, I um, really, really like this stuff. Here's my last uh, cluster, last piece of it. This one's a cluster as well. Uh, this one's very, very delicate, very small and delicate cluster. Gorgeous, huh? And by the way, yes, these are all for sale right now. Everything I'm going to show you guys today is all, uh, up on my Etsy already. If not now, it will be, but this stuff for sure. Uh, moving on. Okay, we got hematite, raw botrytial hematite. I got this a couple years ago. It was really popular with people. People wanted it, and uh, I sold out of, of the whole tray pretty fast. And people were like, well, do you got any more like good quality ones? And I was like, all right, you know what? I'm going to get some more of this here. And there's actually a good story behind behind all, behind these two flats. This one right here to my right is the, the listing I have on Etsy right now where it's like, you know, one botrytial, medium to large. It's like I think it's like $15 for one. But you really get your money's worth. I mean, look at the size of this stuff, right? Beautiful. Every formation has has orbs, botrytial orbs. That, that's how you tell um, the difference of quality versus not so so good quality um, hematite when it's raw. I mean, look at this one right here. And also, if it, if it's the sheen, if the more shiny and, and black, like shiny, like and sometimes it's red and black, it's bicolored, the higher the quality. This is double layered actually. So the story behind this stuff is uh, we, uh, we, we, we met a cool, we went to this Moroccan place and met, met a cool Moroccan guy and he was telling us about, all, he is a geologist. He sells in Tucson every year and he was telling us about how COVID had affected their, uh, you know, their business and stuff like that. And he used to give tours um, to Americans and, and uh, Europeans and other, you know, um, people, Western countries, people, you know, uh, uh, tourists um, of the mines in Morocco. And I was like, well, you know, I want to I do that. <laughs> when you open up, let me know. And he was such a cool guy just telling us about his whole story and everything. And so afterwards, I was like, hey, you know what? You know, we work with energy. He didn't really know much or care much for it, I don't think. But but he was open-minded. So I, I think I, I bought a piece from him. But, but I ended up uh, showing him. Like, like I said, hold the hematite in your hands and just relax and let the energy flow inside of you. And, you know, I was it was a guided kind of like session and uh, he was following every step, and, and he was like, oh my gosh, I feel tingling in my hands and my arms, and he didn't know what to make of it. <laughs> it was so cool, and he was a geologist. It was a really cool, he was a really cool guy. Um, and uh, I'm so glad to get, he had the best quality hematite I've seen, and I, I'm so glad to get this stuff. I got all his stuff. So to my right, this is that uh, uh, listing where it's like one medium large. You get your money's worth when you get one of these. I'll pick one for you intuitively. I feel into you. I feel into your energy. I feel into your frequency. And I, and I match one for you um, out, out of this box. And some are smaller, some are bigger. But they're all guaranteed high quality botrytial hematite. To my left, these are single listings where I sell them uh, per piece. And because these are higher, much higher quality. And these are bigger too. So they can't fit in this category. Um, look at that. This is just like one singular crystal of hematite, you know, or it's just like, boom, you know? And this is water smooth. This is so smooth. Um, you got the big chunks right here. This is heavy as heck. And if you look, look at how they form. I mean, it's like they formed it, you know, in, in this direction, you know, going upwards. I, I don't know the geology uh, or, or, you know, the science behind it. He did. 
Um, but uh, he, you know, this 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 stuff is top quality, and this is one of the bigger pieces I have, probably the biggest one. The smoother, the the, the shinier, the, the the brighter the sheen, you know, the darker it is, the, and also bicolored black or red, the higher the quality. This is this has all of that. I think mean, this is gorgeous. Hematite is the most aggressive stone when it comes to grounding. If you're somebody that you know. Look, look at this one. If you're somebody that you know that needs uh, grounding, right? Grounding energy uh, to to help you remain centered, grounded, and calm, etc. This stone is so powerful for that. It, it I mean, it, um, um, there's no words for it. Like you have to feel it to really get get the full magnitude of it. It's it's such a strong stone for grounding and and, and just uh, centering, grounding yourself, rooting yourself to the ground, especially if you're very you know uh, kind of uh, jittery sometimes. Now these are smaller ones, so I made a I made a, I made another listing that I'm selling stuff just like that, where it's like pick one piece for this amount. But these are smaller. I think these are ten dollars a piece, but still, the smaller these are. This is a smaller tray, you know, but still intuitively picked for you. But also high quality, still like very high quality. You know, every one of these guaranteed to have botryoidal, you know, hematite formations. Just uh, stunning, stunning stuff. Look at that. Perfect little uh, uh, orb, uh, sphere, if you will, <laughs> um, of hematite. See that? So, gorgeous, you know, absolutely gorgeous stuff. All right, guys, now it's time for the zeolites, the apothelites, the uh, stilvites, the minerals from India, from my good friends at Superb Minerals who gave me a great deal on, on these boxes here. This is high, high quality apothelites. This is, uh, out of all the stuff I've gotten over the years as far as Indian minerals, zeolites, apothelites go, this year, the stuff you're about to see is the highest quality stuff I've ever gotten. So it's gonna be a little bit pricier, here, but it's totally worth it. And let me just show you guys what I'm talking about here. Look at this uh, cluster right here. This is called Mordenite, the, the orbs. On, on top of a still bite bed, a creamy peachy still bite. Gorgeous. I mean, it's like a perfectly you know uh, <laughs> sphere. It's it's like a perfectly formed sphere. Um, this is stuff I, I have haven't ever gotten in the past, uh, just because I, I haven't been able to find it. And so this is cubic apostolite. See the nice little cubic formations. So the story behind this is he let me pick. Okay, the owner. There was a, a pallet of these boxes and other minerals, assorted, you know, minerals. And uh, usually what happens when you go to a gym show, first come, first serve. You have to be there early in the morning, get there, be the first one there to pick up the best stuff or else other people are going to, you know, get it. it. It's a rat race, it really is, to get the best stuff, especially if you own a store and you're running a business like I am here. You want you want the best stuff because you want the best stuff for your clients, right? You want the best stuff for, for the people that are, are buying from you. And so <clears throat> I went in there and uh, they just had a pallet. Fresh palette pulled up early in the morning. I said, "Hey, can I can I pick this stuff? Like, can I go through this palette and pick the best stuff?" And and they were just cool about it. They're like, "Yeah, sure, you know." <laughs> and um, I was so lucky to uh, be able to pick the stuff. This is awesome. I mean, I mean, talk about talk about quality. What the heck, you know? Like, look at the formation on that. It's wild. And then in the back, you have little. It's on the matrix, and you have little speckles of. Uh, Smaller still by crystals growing on it. It's so, so stunning. Oh gosh, check, check out this stuff right here. You know, like, um, here. Look at that. The scoliosite, or whatever it's called. You guys saw this in my vlog at Spurt Minerals. I got some of this stuff for you guys. This is amazing quality stuff. It's like a cloudburst, is what they call it. A beautiful translucent crystals. Um, fine, like, fine needle-like points. Just stunning, just oh, I, I, I've i never gotten quality like this before when it comes to apothlites. Look at the steel by on apothlite, it's a nice cluster right there. And I have a couple of beautiful apothlite clusters here. You see the black chalcedony right there? Uh, with like it's like a black chalcedony bed with clear apothlite crystals on top of it. It's so nice, it's such a nice contrast of color. Um, it's like two toned, stunning stuff. So, over here. Move the camera over here. Uh, this box right here, more of this beautiful stuff. Look at the still bite cluster, peachy still bite. 
it's so beautiful. I mean, it's peachy colored tips right here, basically, and then and the, and the base is creamy. Beautiful. Apothite is a very high, high vibration stone. Energy is high vibration. Uh, it's great for kind of flowing out and getting your energy cranked up. And, and when you get the green apothite, this is a this is like a, a sheet of apothite. This is from a different region in India where, where it grows like this. This is stunning. And so this one's so sparkly. I mean, gosh. You know, the camera doesn't really do it justice. You have to really see it in like sunlight or in person, you know. Um, look at the steel bite. This is a huge chunk of steel bite, like a steel bite cluster. But it got it's got one big termination of steel bite, like a fan. Look at that. So apothite is a high vibration stone, and it, it, the, the the green apothite is like spiritual healing because spiritual healing is lime green. So it's got spiritual healing, it's high vibration, it's a very happy stone. And paired with the steel bites, the peachy steel bites. Steel bite is a heart energy stone. It's like helps your heart uh, kind of activate, flow expands your heart but it's also it's very soft right it doesn't do it aggressively so it's like the perfect balance if you will the two combination of stones here is just amazing for for people that you know want to feel better about themselves and feel more light relaxed and uh, heal emotionally mentally spiritually it's great it's a great stone it's totally underrated in my opinion uh for the metaphysical properties um look at this wow Another one of this, these scolio, scoliosites, I believe is what it's called. <sighs> Gorgeous. It's just absolutely stunning. Um, look at the steel bite cluster right here. <laughs> it's a perfect little cluster with fans all over the place. Beautiful. This flat right here, probably one of the highest quality flats, uh, boxes, if you will. Um, Look at this, this this right here. Let me show you guys this here. Let me get this out. Look at that. Oh, gosh, this is more more tonight. It's got that starburst formation. And let me see if I can get this out for you guys. Put this down. Get the crystal out. You gotta be very delicate when you handle these. Look at that. Cloud burst formation. Spherical bursts of crystals and interlacing, kind of intertwining crystals, you know, within it, within itself. And then here you have some green apothalite, speckles of green apothalite, and just a beautiful formation, just top quality stuff. This is not, this is not like, uh, you know, lower quality at all. This is, this is really, really, really high quality stuff. And we, you can determine that from the formation and the quality of the crystals, the clarity, and this has it all. Two big orbs with a starburst, bam! You know, uh, crystals all over the place, and then you have a po green apothlite. Man, this is probably the best, the, the highest quality piece out of all all the boxes right here. This this is it right there. Um, more more clear apothlite. You know, just perfect for display. It stands up right. Gorgeous stuff, guys. Absolutely stunning. Um, to my right here is going to be the the last one of the bigger pieces here, and uh, we have a K. Look at that. This is a uh, chalcedony. Chalcedony cave with a, with a little calcite crystal right there, growing right there. It's really cool, huh? Um, we have uh, other stuff like uh, this still bite on green green apothalite cluster, big one, big guy, big big clusters, high quality big clusters. Oh, check out this cluster right here. This is uh, one of my favorite still bite clusters. Look at that. That's still bite. That's those are big big blades of still bite. And the formation is awesome. Got a little hole right here, like an arc. Beautiful. Beautiful crystals, beautiful stuff, beautiful quality. Seraphonite from Russia. I haven't had this in years because the mine that I, I, used, to, I used to buy from this Russian guy at one of the smaller Tucson Dim shows that I, I don't vlog, uh, he's the only one that had it out of everybody there. And uh, the mine actually was out, so... So like I didn't see the guy there last year selling, but this year I saw him there selling a, a, a newer kind of like a different um, uh, style of seraphonite, different formations because or uh, it came from a different mine. But it is seraphonite and it's beautiful stuff. This is actually, uh, in my opinion, probably better because of the the formations that the angel wings stalactite is what it's called. <laughs> um, 
Sephiroth is a great, great stone. And these are slabs. This is polished here, polished here on the back. It's um, uh, it's rough on the back, but it's actually like semi-polished, but not completely polished, not finished, I think. And um, that's just amazing. Like all these slabs right here, top quality Seraphonite, top quality, guaranteed. Look at the color. Seraphonite is a very healing, relaxing, healing kind of stone. It, it's it's a very it's Seraphonite is a great stone to pair with other other stones that really just kind of enhance that whole kind of relaxing. It's very relaxing, very healing. Oh, it's and it's just like it goes all over your body. The energy. Um, it's a smaller piece of it, and every every slab here is just absolutely top top quality stuff. You see the rough. I put the sticker there to to tell me like you know what piece is what, um, but uh, yeah everything everything in this tray I had to get the whole tray because like this is all he had left, and you know I just you know this was this was expensive too. Trust me. This year, a lot of stuff I got, it's, it's pretty high quality stuff. And that's what I want to stress more than anything else is quality over quantity. That's what I've always been about. Getting the best quality stuff I can for, you know, for the best price. And there's lower quality Seraphine, there's lower quality Apophyte, there's lower quality Hematite, there's lower quality, you know, Colombian Quartz and Cabot, and everything that I've showed you guys here. And it, sure, it was, it was probably cheaper, but you know what? I don't really, I don't want that stuff. You know, I want the best I could probably get. And uh, if you just look, look at the patterns here, I mean, quality in, of seraphine is really determined by by these patterns. These, you know, how much how the the color saturation, like any other stone, but also the in seraphine, especially the the patterns. And uh, um, this stuff is just gorgeous. Top top quality stuff. See that? Stunning, beautiful. So those are actually animal figurines um, with a with a bowl of uh, new might, uh, new my wands. Yeah, I got I got new my wands back. <laughs> new my wands are hard as hell to get because of COVID. Again, at the gym shows, everything was increased prices uh, price wise. Everything was more expensive because of COVID because it's hard to ship stuff in. You know, it's just everything is shut down. So yeah. Um, the gym show prices, everything, everything, the price of stones and minerals have gone up for sure. Um, but that's just, it is what it is, right? That's just how this industry works. And, uh, it's going to be like that maybe for another five, 10 years before it slowly goes down. Maybe it'll never go down. I don't know. Uh, it's unfortunate, but it is what it is. And, uh, new might was one of those minerals that's been hard to get because none of it's coming into the U S right now. And so I had new might for a couple of years, uh, a couple of years ago. And, and, you know, they, they sold out fast and I was, people asked me like, Hey, do you have any more? I said, no, I'm sorry. I just had those pieces and they, you know, they're, um, they're gone. So <clears throat> now I got more. These are wonderful. Uh, these are about, uh, let me get this in focus. My camera just doesn't want to focus. <laughs> um, these are about like four inches, right? So it's great stuff. Um, the yellow stuff. Okay. So this is yellow jade. These are animal figurines, uh, and hand carved animal figurines carved with yellow jade. So why did I get this stuff? Well, first of all, I, I love the animal figurines. Second, I was looking for yellow jade because yellow jade is so, so important for people that are solar plexus, right? It's a very important stone for people that are solar plexus. Yellow jade, uh, it's, it's, it's like gut intuition. It's like, uh, relaxing and calming, but also powers up your, your, your solar plexus. People that are solar plexus centered, people that have a strong gut intuition, people that have that strongest chakra as their focal point need yellow jade, like just like they need citrine. It's so important for them to have, but yellow jade is so hard to come by, so hard to find. And when you do find it, it's expensive. And it's like, I've, I've had them in, in, in beads before, like in bracelets and, and you know, they've sold out right away. And I can't for the life of me find this stuff anywhere. Like I, I, I seriously, guys, I go around looking for this stuff. You know, I, with intention, I'm, I'm looking everywhere. I found my vendor that I go to. She, uh, her name's Jennifer. A cool girl. Okay, she's a very serious kind of business person, but cool, you know, cool person. Her brother's cool too. Um, she sells a lot of beads, you know. Uh, she does all the beads and stuff like that. But she had this yellow jade from China. Most of it comes from China or Southern, like 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 a Burma or something, you know, like that area, that region. I'm not too sure exactly, but they do carve it in China. Um, 
beautiful yellow jade. Now these these are all natural, natural quality yellow jade. I got them for the metaphysical benefit, but also the animals are fun, you know. So you guys can get this stuff and uh, get the ener energetical benefit from it just by holding it and using it. But at the same time, you get to enjoy kind of like the funny animals they carved into it. You know, this is a turtle. Um, turtles are cool. I love turtles. Uh, this is a, a slug, like a, like a banana slug, like, you know, if you're from Santa Cruz or something, you know, you know all about the banana slugs. <laughs> um, uh, this is a, this is a big crane, right? As you can see, they're Asian inspired, Chinese inspired. Uh, there's also a little bead right there they put, like, for fun. I don't know what, what bead, what, it's, like, it's like serpentine or something, or like green nephrite jade. Um, these are, these are like flames, you know? So, but... Despite all the animal carvings, you know, you pick whatever you want. These are these are yellow jade, and it's really really good for solo plexus to be able to have those. So I, that's why I got those. So that's diet Celestine. Great for the hypothalamus. Absolutely stunning stuff. And I got a whole lot of it because I haven't had much of it, and people were asking about this stuff as well. And uh, small pieces, you know. I'm in the process of getting all these up on my shop, but uh, great quality stuff. Let me just show you guys here. Uh, Blue, good blues, good crystals and good blues, you know, good formations. That's what, that's what you look for with Celestai is the, the color, the formation of the crystal. You don't want too much matrix. You want you want more crystal like that egg. Now we're getting into the more expensive stuff. This is the stuff I spent a lot of money on. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> this is probably the, 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 the best quality apostolite cluster that I've ever got in my life. Um, from the guys at Spread Minerals and... These are smaller pieces. These are like collector items. I mean, look at this quality. Look at the green apple apostolite, perfect termination, you know, with a peach uh, still bite fan with some scoliosite, whatever it's called. You know, like it's everything in this quality is like collector's item level stuff. I mean, this is this was very pricey, but I, I had to have it because they, they said, you know, if you want it, you can have it. We'll give you a deal on it. I still paid a lot of money for this. Um, like a lot, a lot, a lot, but, uh, it was worth it just to have it. And it was honestly, it was actually their last one too. This is octahedron green apothelite on top of a basalt matrix. Um, it was their last flat. So I was like, it was almost like it was meant to be honestly, because I asked them if they had any more for me to look at. They're like, nope, this is it. You know? Uh, <laughs> so I just said, okay, I'm taking this. Look at that. Look at the quality on this stuff. These are like collector's items. These are much higher quality than, than the bigger pieces. Um, great stuff. Absolutely amazing. Um, if you look right here at this one above it, this is a black apothelite. So there's really no such thing as a black apothelite. What happens is black chalcedony that grows on top of the, or below the apothelite, as the apothelite grows above it, the black chalcedony sometimes can infuse with the apothelite crystals. Therefore, changing the color of the apothelite crystals. This one, in this case, it totally infused with it, and now it's black. Very rare, very, very rare. These are all rare formations, rare rare minerals. This is probably the highest quality green apothelite cluster in this whole flat right here. Look at that. A still bite, apothelite, and a little strands, needle-like blade strands, shards of scoliosite just piercing through, connecting each, each crystal. I mean, gosh, golly. It's beautiful, absolutely stunning. Um, there's really no words for for this this flat this 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 uh, tray, and yes, I'll have these up for sale as well. Uh, but you know they're they're going to be a little more expensive than than the other pieces because of the quality. The quality here speaks for itself. Um, but yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, you ready for this? Here we have some Congo citrine. Da -da -da -da. You know, uh, Congo citrine is great. Uh, natural colored, natural Congo citrine, and. I had these in the past and I sold out relatively quick and I found a really awesome lady from the Congo from Africa. She sold these to me. Now these are expensive. Congo citrine, natural citrine is like 10 times more expensive than heat treated citrine. That's why, that's why you'll never find this stuff in a stone shop because they can't carry it. It's too much for them to carry. Um, they don't, they want to stay away from the really pricey stuff, but I had to get this stuff again because I know people like it and I know people want it. Like, look at that beautiful color. I mean, gosh. These are all natural citrine, right? Natural color, no heat treated, uh, heat treatment rather, sorry, with a, uh, you know, Congo formation, pineapple formations like candle quartz, 100% uh, authentic from the Congo, uh, from the, uh, near a river, 
God, I think it's called Lenoir or something like that. Um, I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. <laughs> but uh, look at that. I mean, gosh. Gosh, gosh, gosh. These are all bigger pieces. Now, these are absolutely stunning pieces of Congo citrine. Absolutely just gorgeous. See that? The color, the saturation, the clarity, everything about them. Uh, everything about this this tray here, and I have it protected in, in a really strong kind of plastic uh, tray with dividers because I don't want them to get damaged. Um, so that's a big that's a big one. And then I have the smaller one over here, just as beautiful. Open that up. Let me show you guys this stuff. These are smaller pieces. These are great for like necklaces and stuff, like pendants. You know, these are just stunning. I mean, the color looks so much better in person. Let me tell you guys. And out in the sunlight. It's like a champagne gold color. Citrine is so, so great for like focus and uh, for clarity, <clears throat> for cleansing. If you're solar plexus, you really need this stuff. Um, beautiful piece. Some of them have the, the uh, uh, candle formations like this one. You know, when I say candle, I'm, I'm talking about the Alessio growth right here on the bottom. This one's got a rainbow right there too. But um, yeah. Wow, the nice lady actually let me pick, uh, hand pick each each crystal. So I picked the best quality ones, and people were you know uh, looking at me like, oh, he's got the best ones, you know, because <laughs> uh, other people who came in later, you know, it's all first come first serve. So I got there first, I got the best stuff, best quality and best just you know clarity, quality, color, deep deep uh, champagne gold color, smoky citrine. It's gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Over here, um, above this tray, is a, is another tray of the same kind of style of dividers. This is sardonyx. This is what I was talking about earlier. Th these are smaller pieces of sardonyx. These are all top quality sardonyx. Again, I picked these as well. Handpicked each one. Um, you know, look at the bands and the formations on this stuff. It is just gorgeous. This stuff, this one right here, when you shine a light on the bottom, it's it's like see-through. It's so amazing. This uh, sardonyx from uh, uh, Madagascar. <clears throat> look at that. And, and look at, <laughs> check this one out. Oh man. The bands and everything on that, gorgeous, just gorgeous. My gosh, <clears throat> look at this. Ugh, so, so great, so stunning. The bands, the colors. So now you get, you get colors of anywhere from red, uh, tan, brown, black, white. It's like you get everything. Um, this one right here is one of my favorites. When you shine a light at the bottom of this, it is really amazing. The energy in this stone is amazing too. All right, moving on. Those of you that have been following my Etsy uh, shop will know that I have most of this stuff already uploaded, uh, listed on for sale. It's a lot of work. It's a lot, a lot of work it's listing all this stuff. But I'm happy to announce that I'm bringing back uh, the pineal gland power-up kits, but this time with a twist. This time I'm adding in some star arsenite. A lot of people have asked me in the past, hey, do you have star arsenite for sale? And I do have a lot of star arsenite, yeah. Um, this is the real deal stuff from the American Southwest. Uh, uh, found, picked, tumbled, and cranked up by the old man himself. And um, I had a bag of it, and, but it wasn't really, you know, people have asked me, hey, you know, do you have for sale? I, I never really sold most, I never sold anything really. Because um, it wasn't supposed to be, it wasn't meant for like me to just, you know, to sell off. It, it, the the, the Star Night was, was meant for, uh, to give people at the Stone Energy events, you know. I would, what I would do in the past is, or I still do this now, is just, you know, COVID, all the events are closed, but in-person events. But what I would do is I would, you know, charge people like 20, 30 bucks to, to have a one hour, one and a half hour uh, Stone Energy course with me at, at a stone shop. And, you know, I'd get about 20 to 30 people show up. And uh, with that with that ticket comes a star tonight. And <clears throat> this stone right here, this stone by itself, is worth 20 to 30 bucks. So the ticket is already paid for in the stone and you're essentially getting the class for free. <laughs> um, Star Sign is the most powerful, powerful stone on this planet. And uh, in the past, I used to have these pineal gland power-up kits, which is just 
uh, which were like four or five stones, these, and, and I think another one I had in there. But I didn't have Stardust Knight. So now I'm bringing it back. This was like years ago. I'm going to bring it back, and I'm only going to sell Stardust Knight in this fashion with the Pineal, Pineal Gland Power Up Kits, not by not by themselves. Because um, again, I can't sell them all. I need them for my uh, uh, Stone Energy courses, which are going to pick up here pretty soon. And uh, again, um, it's been kind of slow because of COVID, but uh, you know how it is. But I'm excited to, to, to announce this to you guys. Like I have this now. And this is all you need right here to really get your pineal gland up and running, cranked up, powered up, um, just, you know, up and running and, and just going and flowing and seeing stuff. This is what you need. And the Star Tonight really is the creme de la creme. The Star Tonight is really what makes, puts this, puts everything together here and makes it, makes it really like work in overdrive, you know, on, on all cylinders, just room and, uh, um, <laughs> I'm not saying like these. Even if you take Star Tonight out, this combination, this four combination stones, the Selenite, Lapis, the Picture Jasper, the Amethyst, is great. It'll get your pinnacle going. But Star Tonight just really put, takes it to, to the other level. It's like it's like turbocharging your car, but turbo turbo. I don't know, like 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 five times over, ten times over. It's it's amazing. So I have that available for you guys if anybody that wants it. Um, I also have I also bought some of the Stick Selenite. I've had Stick Selenite in the past. It sold out. And uh, uh, they were like, I sold two pieces, I think. It was like 10 bucks for two, two fat, huge pieces, right? And high quality, high quality as hell. I mean, totally worth it. Now I'm doing the same thing. I'm selling them two pieces. Look at the quality on this stuff. This is quadruple A grade Moroccan stick selenite or a Stan Spar or whatever you call it. Um, these are bigger than what I used to sell. And uh, these, I have these out here as an example. Those will also be like, two pieces you know and uh those are those are those are a little bit longer bigger different various like shapes some are, some are uh thinner some are thicker you know but you get your mind's worth for that for sure um that just that stuff is just amazing uh the quality wise and i, I was able to nag the, the last bit of the good quality stuff because i'm telling you guys in, in gym shows this stuff goes fast First come, first serve. People that own, you know, businesses and shops like myself, whether online or, or you know, physical stores, they they know where to go to, to find the best stuff. And they they you know they they get that stuff like buy it out really fast. So, yeah. Oh, and also uh, you know, uh, various Capricorns, uh, uh, polished stuff, lapis, picture Jasper. Um, I sell these, sell these individually as well. Uh, amethyst. Um, this is a. Uh, the yellow venturines so that's also available for you guys and uh, over here i have some lions Ooh, what is what's this <laughs> some lions some wood carving some home decor i told you guys i'm gonna get some more stuff here not just stones and crystals and and this was part I, I, this was a part of that you know i've seen these and i was like oh these are so cool you know i i got one for myself but look at that uh hand carved indonesia hand carved um beautiful stuff you can also put a finish on this on this wood if you really want to make it shine more. I think it's unfinished or or, or whatever, but I mean this is those are great. <laughs> um, lions, right? I said, you know what? I'm gonna get these wood carvings. I also got some dream catchers too, some macrames if you guys are interested in that as well. Uh, dream catchers are awesome. Um, it's just I'm getting a lot of stuff that I like, right? Uh, uh, Dream catchers, pottery, which I still need to show you guys. Um, Macrames, uh, uh, hand carved wooden figures, lions. You know, this, this is stuff that I'm I, I'm getting more into. Not just stones, but I'm diversifying. You know, and uh, just stuff that I like. Just cool stuff. You know, here's a uh, wooden stand, perfect for a little crystal. You know, nice, thick, bulky stand. All right, guys. Now here's what I'm talking about too. When I'm getting into more stuff that are not just uh, minerals and raw minerals and stones, jewelry, um, beads. Um, I've had beads in the past, but I I got a lot this year. And in here I want to talk about some of the already kind of you know uh, uh, made ready to go uh, bracelets. Um, these are awesome. This is like the some of the highest quality stones that I could find, and they, these are like ready to wear. You just get them and wear them, you know. Um, very strong elastic band on these, and uh, this is blue kyanite. These are different sizes. This is morganite. This is rhodocorsite, top quality rhodocorsite. My gosh, this is fernite or phenocyte, um, spiritual healing stone, and these are smaller, kind of like cotton candy morganites. Um, 
And they're ready. To, they're ready to wear. You just take one. You know. You just. You know. You just. Boom. Ready to wear. Right. Does the camera want to focus? Yeah. There you go. Boom. You know. Like. Uh, they're all wonderful. The highest quality. You can't. I mean. Let me show you guys something here. Um, okay, I'm gonna take these off. The vendor that I got these from, she she has the retail price that like what she sells it for. Let me show you guys this. This is Rotocore site, right? Triple A quality, eight millimeter beads, deep pink, um, pink beads, beautiful quality. Look at the price tag, $100. That's how much per strand, per, per bracelet. That is how much um, these people are saying that they should they should be retailing for, selling for. Is that how much I'm selling for? Heck no, you know? And But there's actually stores. You walk into stores, they'll actually sell for more than 100 bucks. And is it worth it? Well, you know, I would say probably if, if the quality is there, I, I would say, yeah, I mean, it's all about the quality of the stones, right? Like, like a low quality road across site is probably like, like one fifth of that price, you know? Um, but is that how much I, you, you'll see on my shop for? No, no, no. I mean, you know, um, I, I don't, I don't have to sell for that much. You know, people have, you know, people that own stores, you know, they have rent to pay, et cetera. They have to charge more and they probably get, uh, you know, good stuff coming in. So I want to make this affordable for people. Um, because this is like, Rotor Corsair is such an amazing stone, by the way. Rotor Corsair is great for the putting on the heart. Amazing stone. Uh, and, and this is really, really high quality Rotor Corsair. You can't get this anywhere, this quality, without paying a, a very pretty penny. Um, because it, it, Rotor Corsair, it, it's, it's an expensive gemstone. So, especially the more pink it is. You know, Rotor Corsair is from Argentina, uh, this stuff, and... It's just you, you're not gonna find the quality like that anywhere else. It's it's really it's really amazing. Uh, some of the stuff you can just see the the deeper the pink, um, the higher the quality. Oh, there we go. <laughs> this this is some really high quality blue kyanite. The, the deeper the blue with the blue kyanite, the higher the quality. I got I got some raw blue kyanite. I will show you guys here in a second. But uh, yeah, cool beads, uh, great stuff. This is garnet. Um, Two uh, two strands of it, darn it! Oh gosh, it won't focus. <laughs> Camera, there we go. We got deep red, cool stuff. Uh, this right here is a really cool strand of sodalite. Now these, these are slabs. You could actually fold this up like this. Look, check it out. Fold it up. Uh, there we go. Boom, <laughs> see that? It's pretty cool, huh? Um, I could break this down and sell each piece individually for people that want uh, a piece, but they only had one strand left. It was sold out really fast, so I just got that and some, some whole strand, I think. Um, this is Tiger's Eye. Look at that, pretty cool. These are beads, one whole strand of them. So, cool beads uh, for anybody that wants them. Um, and also, not just beads, I'm also getting ash with jewelry, handmade uh, jewelry uh, that uh, made by designers and stuff, you know. Um, one in particular that I'm really kind of happy to have is uh, this right here on this little display. Now, what is that? Those are 18 karat plated gold necklaces. Uh, these necklaces are handmade in uh, Brazil using using Brazilian gold. It's 18 karat gold over uh, palladium, and uh, down here is like a, a nugget style necklace. Uh, there, this one's like a 50 inch, I think. Yeah, and and then you put it over it and then you loop it around and you you can wear it. Um, I'm getting better with this stuff, guys. So I'm getting more into jewelry. You know, <laughs> I'm, I'm more, my eye is being more trained to to find stuff that are cool and unique and. And, and, you know, like, uh, uh, I guess stuff that I think people would like, stuff, stuff that I like and also I think other people would like. Uh, I think these are unisex. These these are more um, made for, for women, for ladies. But I think uh, men can pull it off too because this, this is actually right here. This is a necklace. This is an 86 strand, 86 inch uh, uh, necklace. But if you loop it around enough, you could, all, you could also wear it as a bracelet. Um, 
Brazilian gold, and we met the uh, designer there. At the at the gym show, we were at a a jewelry show. Actually, it was more jewelry than it, than it was stones. Um, and she was she made this stuff. It's so so cool, so unique. I got some nice photos of this stuff on on my Etsy. And uh, but yeah, so this is like a, a bracelet or a necklace, depending on whatever you want to do with it. It's on an elastic strand, so you can really customize it. 18 karat gold over palladium, Brazilian gold. Uh, these are like and it's like a alternating matte and polished beads. You know, this is like more of a nugget style. This is more of a, this is strictly a necklace because it would be too uncomfortable to wear around your wrist. Uh, these are more like cylinder beads that are smoother. Uh, just great stuff, gold, real gold. And by the way, the energy, the re part of the reason why I got this stuff, the energy was like surprisingly really good. I was like, wow, this is, this is, this is amazing. You know, the energy is great on this stuff and also it's strong. Like, hey, I'm gonna get some of this stuff. <laughs> uh, I think people would love it. Um, check out the photos I have on, on, on Etsy. If you just go on my Etsy account, uh, I'll have a link below. You can look under the uh, selections, look, look, look for jewelry. You'll, you'll find that stuff there. So last but not least, as far as jewelry goes, uh, I've got a piece of Moldavite. I've been getting so many questions about Moldavite. Um, that's actually like a dragon's head. I've been getting so many questions about it. Like, hey, do you have it? Do you have it? I've, I've had about five people ask me recently, like, hey, do you have Moldavite? And that's I'm like, no, you know, I'm, I'm all out. I've only ever sold a couple pieces of Moldavite on my shop. And, uh... A uh, moldavite's been popular lately, and I want to talk about why, but not in this video. I'm going to make a whole separate video for it. Um, but I do want to talk about it because it is important. Uh, <laughs> it's kind of funny, actually. Um, which is, you know, uh, kind of, that's why I've seen a, a recent surge, a recent uptick in, 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 uh, in the interest, uh, moldavite. Um, and I've gotten, I got two pieces here. I actually got three. I sold one already. Uh, like it was just gone. Um, this is a bracelet. This is probably the most expensive, the single most expensive item that I bought at the gym show. I think it would be this. The plastic here is reflecting the light on my camera. This was made by a company called Starborn Creations out in Sedona, Arizona. And uh, they're at the gym show every year too. This is absolutely stunning. You have faceted moldavite or, um, alternating with uh, raw pieces of moldavite. And in the center is this, is this like eight, six piece Moldavite bracelet. I got better photos of this this uh, this bracelet on my uh, Etsy. But yeah, so a lot of interest in Moldavite. And I want to talk about why in a separate video. But I just want to show you guys this, this Moldavite that I got. And this is by far the probably the best and most expensive piece of uh, jewelry or stone that I got this year. This was not cheap at all. Um, but I wanted to have it because I know somebody would want it. So I just got one. It's amazing how fast all the Moldavite sold out at the gym shows. Like, quite literally, within the first hour, most stores were dry. Um, I'll talk about why. But uh, yeah, that's the Moldavite I got. So to finish off this uh, section of all my stones and uh, here that uh, I got at Tucson, these are some Carnelian hearts, some Rodonite hearts. Some these are small Carnelian hearts. These are these are bigger Rodonite hearts. These are the biggest Carnelian hearts. These are Carnelian. Uh, sorry, Rhodonite uh, palm stones. A lot of people like the Carnelians and the Rhodonites, and I, I never really had too many of these, so I got a lot of it this year. Um, I got a lot of uh, uh, the, uh, uh, you know, the, uh, what do you call it? The the stands, the, 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 the free form, the, the, you know, <laughs> gosh, I can't find my words. Um, these, they stand upright. Beautiful Carnelian, beautiful, high quality, top quality. Great reds, oranges, formations. So look at that. It's like a veins and a heart. So a lot of the polished stuff, check it out in my store if you want it. It's, it's great. Uh, good energy, good quality. Um, good good just overall everything. I mean, it's great. Uh, malachite over here. Uh, some malachites. You know, polished malachites. Great uh, formations. Uh, bands. Malachite's going to be more expensive uh, in, in the coming years ahead because of what's going on with COVID. Everything is going to be more expensive, but uh, malachite especially. Um, Malachi is going to be one of those minerals that, that, that are going to, you'll, you'll see an increase in price for sure. Um, look at that. Beautiful, right? So moving on. And last but not least on this table here, um, selenite, uh, polish the selenite, uh, uh, plates, wands, charging plates, whatever you call them. They're really high quality. Let me get this out of the bag here. Show you guys. 
See that? It's gorgeous. Uh, this one's this one's got missing a little bit right here. Um, they're not usually like that. Let me show you another one. They're usually full and complete. See? Gorgeous. Great stuff. Uh, over here, amazing blue kyanite. Uh, every piece in here is top quality blue kyanite, and every blue kyanite quality is determined by the fan and the color, like, like the raw pieces, determined by the formation. If you if you see the fan formations like that, stacked like a fan, with great color, that is high quality. That's indicative of a very high quality blue kyanite. Um, every every piece in here has this formation. That's why I bought this flat, because it was it was top quality uh, blue kyanite. Very great energy, very cleansing, good for the pineal, and very cleansing energy. Look at that, this blue kyanite on uh, on quartz right there. See that <clears throat> little blade, fan blade, whatever you call it. Here's a here's a really cool one. It's like an X. This is an o overlapping X. Isn't that something? <laughs> and these are already all up on uh, on my SD shop. It's it's great having this stuff for you guys. I mean, it's like this stuff is so good for so cleansing, so good, just so awesome. This stuff. Um, over here, move this, uh, over here we have, uh, uh, some black tourmaline, a, a, a box of black tourmaline, you know, I sold this individually, a couple bucks a piece, I think, like two, three bucks a piece, um, sold a couple already, and, uh, black tourmaline is great, you know, for, uh, great to have around, take, take, like, one or two of these and keep them below your bed, the stuff will attack you less, uh, at night, it's good to have that, um, and fluorite, a lot of fluorite, uh, 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 rainbow fluorite uh, towers. I bought a whole uh, box of this stuff too. It's really cool. You know, some are deeper, some are lighter. They all have the rainbow colored bands though. So yeah. Now let me show you guys. Uh, what I'm really excited to show you guys is the Mata Ortiz pottery. So let's go. Let me show you guys the stuff and we'll, we'll conclude this video. Well guys, here it is. When I mentioned I was going to get more home decor and other cool stuff, this is part of what I was talking about, the pottery, the Mata Ortiz pottery. You guys saw on my gym show vlog at Kino where I, I visited this guy's booth. He was selling these, these beautiful, beautiful pots. And uh, I was so drawn to them. I was so attracted to them. After I, after I had stopped vlogging, um, I went back and I bought all these. And they're, they're just so stunning. Okay, so a little bit of history on this. And by the way, the guy was so nice to me. You know, we, we I was talking to him and, and, and a wonderful lady and her husband that worked there. And we, we kicked it off real nice. And he gave me this book. He gave me this book right here. It, it, old book, right? Uh, the Artistry and History of Monte Ortiz. And it shows the pot. You know, very old book. And he, he just gave this to me, you know, and as a gift. So I could further educate myself on the history of this stuff. And just a quick summary. Um, the, all these pots are, are handmade uh, uh, by clay in a small, small village in north of Mexico, near, near the border actually, um, called Mata Ortiz. And uh, it all started from one guy who found uh, uh, old native Indian kind of artifacts and pots and then, you know, took that style and started making his own. And, and then now the whole village is making it his family um, and, and other families. It's basically a, a couple of families that uh, everybody in that family is are making these pots and everybody has their own unique style. So you see right here up in the forefront, these are very like patterned grids, you know, like these are um, grid-like patterns, right? And then this one as well. And and by the way, the, the this clay, this was forged um, using a lighter clay, like, like a white clay or a tan clay, which gives it that color. In the back here, you see some black clay um, that was forged or made using uh, red clay, which when, when they heat it up through the through the natural process that they do, um, turns black. So that's that's the color contrast. And also you have different colors in between. You have like a reddish, uh, uh, even more tanner, you know, clay. And basically, uh, you have all these families making these beautiful pottery, and it's it's old world techniques. You know, it's very you can't put water in these. It's not possible. All you can really do is put uh, dried flowers. Like I've I put some here to kind of show you guys. These are like fake flowers. You know, I put some here to show you guys like what you could do with it. And my favorite is is this one right here with the lavender, <clears throat> and the purple lavender. Look at that old world techniques. You can't put water. These are forged at about eighteen hundred Fahrenheit. Uh, degrees Fahrenheit, so it's not suitable for water, and everything is old world. You know the technique, the clay. It's all natural, all handmade. When they paint these things, they they use uh, strands of hair, 
uh, from 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 a younger girl because it's fine and thin, and that's that's how they paint them. Um, you you can really tell right here, like in this one, uh, with the artwork, you can tell they used the, those fine strands of hair to to kind of hand paint all this artwork. These are parrots, you know, with a turtle, and it's really cool. And at the bottom here is the name of the artist. So <clears throat> and it's like that with all of these, right? They just put their uh, uh, signature on the bottom. I really like this 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 blue and black contrast and with the you know these are um they they're, they're inspired by the natural animals out in the um Sonoran Desert where they live um Mato Ortiz. so like you'll see lizards you'll see tur turtles you'll see you'll see birds hummingbirds stuff like that uh this is more of a saucer shaped one that's uh you know got the it's more geometric these two are more geometric beautiful um with a with a tanner clay so it came it comes out more tan and this one is, is the red clay, which comes out black, and it's got all different colors on it. Turquoise, green, you know, lime green, pink, yellow, blues, browns. I got, uh, this one right here is so cool. Look at that. You know, every every kind of, pat, every section here displays something different. Whether it's ge geometric shapes, and it's a little bit, it's, it's coarse to the touch, you know. Um, or, uh, you know, geometric patterns, shapes, native stuff. Uh, it's just Gorgeous. I mean, gosh, and this one's more turquoisey, right? That one is just oh, let me zoom in on that here. Um, this one's more turquoisey here, and uh, oh, by the way, they all they all come with a stand, with uh, you know different colors and patterns too. Like it's so amazing, and the, all these red clay ones. I I was so drawn to these right away. I couldn't even help myself. I just picked them all up. Um, the guy, the gentleman, was so nice to me, you know, because I. I guess I expressed a lot of interest, and he was a cool guy. He's an old timer. He's been doing this for thirty years, and he he works with the village. And the the, the village they only sell to this guy, and then he sells to other people, you know, like myself. So, and the one the the, the big one in the back. This is this <clears throat> this is one of my favorites. This, this is the biggest one I've got. It's all animals. It's a turtle, a little lizard, gecko, parrot. Um, let me see if I can get closer on that. Uh, zoom in. There we go. See. And you can see the intricate, uh, uh, fine, oop, fine intricate work done by just a couple of strands from from a young girl's hair. That's all they use, so it's really cool. And uh, it's really uh, something unique out of uh, history that they they uh, they're preserving here. This this art, this uh, uh, this method of of making pots, very old world techniques. That's why you can't use water, but you can. They're so great for home decor. I mean, oh my gosh, and. Um, and just just having them around, they're beautiful. But I really want to show you guys this. And when you guys get one of these, of course the the ring stand um, comes with them, so you don't have to worry about that. Um, look at the patterns on that. You know the the green, the blue, the turquoise, and and all the different colors and bands. It's just something else. It really is, and it just really uh, helps you appreciate the art and the uh, history down there. So. That's the Mata Ortiz, guys. Guys, that was a long video, but thank you so much for, for watching and thank you so much for participating with me and all the showing you guys all the stones and cool stuff that I got. Um, your support means everything to me. And uh, this year, I bought a lot of stones and a lot of stuff, more, more than I ever planned, more than I ever have in the past, you know, because, you know, uh, due to do, do the COVID and all this other stuff, you know, my business as well as other people's, pretty much everybody has taken a hit. And so I have to get more stuff for the shop to, to, you know, fuel that business back up, to get it going again. So anybody that buys something or, you know, reaches out to me for a consult or anything, like your support means the world to me. And all you guys watching the video here and watching my vlogs and your support means everything to me. Um, it's the reason why I keep doing this stuff. So it's cool. It's awesome. Thank you guys. And uh, if you have any questions or anything, if you want anything personalized or custom customized or anything you saw in this video you have a question about, uh, send me an email, you know, just reach out to me. Um, I got some personal stuff too that that uh, I'll be putting up here in, in, in the in the in the shelf for, for future vlogs, personal stones that I got for myself that I'm not, you know, selling that, that I got the gym show. So I uh, can't wait and uh, thank you again guys. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys soon. I'm gonna make a video here talking about Moldova and why it's such a trendy thing right now. <laughs> Pretty soon. <laughs> so 